European nations had seized land in many parts of the world. Most of Africa, for instance, had been occupied during the previous half century. British colonies provided raw material for English industry and a market for English goods. The French, keeping pace with the British, had moved into North Africa to ensure their food supply. Germany, a latecomer, was fighting for its share of world trade and demanding fuller recognition as a world power. Bitterness grew as the great powers of Europe built up huge armies and formed into two hostile camps. Each nation pledged to fight if any of its allies were attacked. One alliance included Germany, Austria-Hungary, and Italy, called the Triple Alliance. Opposing them was the Triple Entente of France, Russia, and England. These complex tensions finally exploded into war. The crisis began in June 1914, when Serbian patriots in Bosnia shot and killed the heir to the Austro-Hungarian throne, then visiting the capital, Sarajevo. By August 1914, the great powers of Europe were at war, the Central Powers against the Allies. The German plan was to overwhelm France, then turn its full force on Russia. To reach France, Germany decided to march through neutral Belgium. When Belgium resisted, Germany let loose its guns on that small nation. The Allied powers were trying to blockade Germany, both on land and at sea, to deny her necessary war supplies. Germany was trying to starve England by destroying her shipping with a new weapon, the submarine. Early in the war, the British Navy cut off Germany from her colonies and swept German ships off the surface of the sea. Britain impounded the cargoes of neutral ships, including those of the United States, if they were bound for German ports. In spite of heavy losses, neither side had been able to make decisive gains. Italy had deserted its former alliance and was now at war against Germany, while Turkey had entered on the side of Germany. On the vast Russian front, the Germans were winning. But on the Western front, across northeast France, the gigantic armies were deadlocked. Their trenches faced each other across a bleakness called no man's land. Britain still hoped that her blockade would defeat Germany. Her battleships patrolled the open sea. German submarines, on the other hand, had sunk thousands of British ships. More than 5,000 British ships were sunk during the entire war. There were German successes on land, too. The British effort to complete the encirclement of Germany by occupying the Middle East was defeated by the Turks at Gallipoli. The Germans conquered Romania in a few weeks. There were smashing victories on the Eastern Front. Russia was beginning to collapse from the internal strife that later led to revolution. Italy, too, was beginning to weaken, but the British blockade was proving effective. Germany, desperately working against time, decided to risk renewal of unrestricted submarine warfare. In violation of traditional international law, the step was taken with full knowledge that it might cause a break and possible war with the United States. March 1917, five American ships were sunk. On April 2nd, 1917, Wilson appeared before Congress. Congress declared war on April 6th. 